Yo, yo, yo. My check one, two, one, two. Hey, Kurt, you can hear me out? Am I coming through good? Am I coming through with my audio sound? Like, does my mic sound nice? Yo, yo, yo. All right, yeah, I hear you. All right, that's good. Mic check one. All right, cool. All right, let's see, man. Give me a second while I get a second to come through and shit. Yo, yo, what's good, Walking Thunder? What up, Delroy? Robert, what's good? What's good? What's good? We're gonna get into this angry black man talk. You know what I mean? And why nigga ain't supposed to be angry and all that? Or no, no, no. Why I'm angry, and you should be too. This is the top ten. Yo, yo, what's good, dog? Well, you already know, man. Peace, 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 Asia. Copper Untonchinous, we good, Jay. All right, man, we're going to get right to it, man. Let's get right to it. We're not even going to play. Okay, so um, if you know me or if you've been following my Facebook for any amount of time, um, you know I come, you know, uh, <laughs> I got my own approach. Um, I've came through a few different schools of thought. Um, I grew up along the way. A lot of information I kept, a lot of things I let go, and I formed my own decision based on um, all the info that I had and then my perspective on the world based on my travels and, like I said, the info that I got. So, peace, Walking Thunder. You already know we out here. Um, so this is the top 10, man. We're going to go over exactly why I'm angry. And actually, it's a little more than 10. All right. But we're going to get to it. OK. All right. So we're going to start with number one. All right. And these are in no particular order. And honestly, it's more than 10. I had a list of 23. <laughs> I had a list of 23 things, and I try to break it down to 10, but it's a few things that need to be said. So it's a little more than 10, but we're just going to work with it. All right. So here we go. Number one. Number one. This is the first thing that really gets to me. Did you think to put a shirt on before you teach? I guess you are. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Let me live a uh, second. Let me live. All right. Just let me live. OK. Um, but number one. We're not realistic about our position in the world, okay? We have a very, very unrealistic outlook about where we at and then how we should be handling ourselves. This shit just don't make no sense, okay? How the fuck are we the most oppressed people? We are the most uh, 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 socially injustice, right? We go through the worst of the worst, but we walk around with our chests out like we big and bad. Like people, people supposed to respect us. Like we, we got some clout, or we got some stain, or we have some, some, some type of worldly position over anybody. That shit don't make no sense, and I have a hard time comprehending how we walk around with the big head as black people. You know, and I know what history do. History tell you, you know, Africa this, and you know, we was great here, and it wouldn't be nothing without. And I get all of that, and all of that is dope. That is one hundred percent dope. But what is it doing for us right now? Because to hold on to this level of confidence that we got because of what's in a school book about what we did thousands of years ago. I mean, OK, somebody did that, but that ain't us. And that ain't benefiting us today. All that work that other people put in, motherfuckers came through and stole that shit, monetized it. And then selling it back to you and you paying for it. You had a loss paying for culture that's already yours. The shit don't make no sense. So <laughs> the, the, the unrealistic mindset that we had, it just don't make no sense. So that brings me to the next thing, right? Like I just said, the false sense of superiority. Now, I, I know y'all saw the brother who got shot by the white boy in the parking lot in front of his son. Shorty says she feel like I'm in my bedroom and it's hard to listen. Lord Jesus. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm talking about right here. How are we so easily distracted? And hey, you know what I'm going to do for you, sec, sec, tech, I don't want to say your name wrong. I'm going to get a shirt just for you because I don't want you to be distracted. So just give me one second. I got you. Hang on. All right. Let me get my shirt for the sister so she ain't distracted. All right. Let's tighten up, man. 
I want, I want my class, I want my classroom to be decent and in order. So I feel you, sis. I feel you. I got you. All right. Now, here we go. So this false sense of superiority. The brother got clapped. The brother got shot in front of his son and his wife. Right now, we know the white boy was over there disrespecting his wife about the about the uh, parking spot and all of that. So he pulls up on him, you know, like a brother do. He pulls up on him trying to protect his wife. And he say whatever he say. You know how we do. We out there checking him. Right. Then he goes and push the boy. And then you kind of just casually the old man, you casually walk over to him and OG was ready. Pulled out and lined them up. Now, this is what I'm talking about with the false sense of superiority. If you think you needed to do anything to that man, you're supposed to handle the business completely. When you destroy, you destroy totally. You don't go over there playing with fucking people. So what we do, we walk around and we scream black power and uh, 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 we the kings and the queens and everybody else is Neanderthals and subservient people. And you come from this, that and the third. Right. And then we'll go and we'll fight one another and we'll bang on one another. And if somebody black do something to you, you go and handle that business and you'll, you know, you, niggas will go to jail. Niggas will die about the bullshit, right? Amongst us. We're superior amongst us. But when somebody from the other side, when, some, when it really count, when it really count, answer me this. How many women have been avenged for the murders over the last two years? Let's just take one. The last year, all of the women that have been murdered, how many of them have been avenged? How many men or women? Because, you know, we got some warrior queens out here, so they say. So, cool. How many people have actually went and got some vengeance behind that? Because we talk like we hard. We talk like we can't be beat. We talk like we the gods of the earth. But niggas getting chipped up regularly. So, I find it hard to respect that anybody from our community talking about we so high and mighty, but ain't no work getting put in for nobody. Ain't nobody standing up to this, to this, uh, I don't want to say, man, ain't nobody standing up to this beast we dealing with. Sorry for the lingo, man. That pan African shit is still on me. But, you know, nobody's really focused on that. Ain't nobody pulling up to the boys. Nobody in front of the police station. Ain't nobody walking around with guns talking about they patrolling their neighborhood. Even when it did happen, the cops came and took them niggas' guns, man. The false sense of superiority, you lost your mind. You tripping. You don't have it. Listen, you are great because of what's in you and because of your ability. But you're not exercising it. You're not exercising that. The greatness that you want to attach to yourself from other people. That's not you. That was them. That's not you. You got to humble yourself and be honest about where you at so you can make adjustments and get where you want to be. Huh? Which brings me to my next point. We talk warfare. We talk like we really in. Oh, it's a war going on out here. Oh, we looking for a revolution. Oh, we doing this and we doing that and we want it. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That sounds good. That sounds real good, right? But you know the problem we don't have. The, the, the problem with this thinking, we never, ever, ever talk about our standard operating procedure. Okay? I'm going to say that again because I know some of y'all probably never heard of it. Okay? We talk about warfare and we say we want war. Right. We say we, this our shit. We're going to take it back. Right. Right. OK, good. Good. So then. What is the standard operating procedure for every event we may come into up until the actual fight happens? How are we supposed to handle ourselves to make sure that the things that we are doing don't put us at a disadvantage in this war? We say we ready for. We never talk about that. We don't talk about personal relationships with one another and how we're supposed to handle disagreements amongst black people, brown people, copper colored people, minorities, everybody in the hood. We don't talk about how we're supposed to handle one another. We don't talk about how we're supposed to handle our children. We don't talk about how we're supposed to handle our enemies, how we're supposed to go about actually making sure that the strategy which is never talked about, is being employed properly and we're not doing nothing to fuck up the game plan. That shit makes no sense. You motherfucking right I'm angry because we got unrealistic niggas out here with a big head, a big chest, talking about war, but never talk strategy. They don't want to talk strategy. You know why, when you talk, you know why they don't want to talk strategy? Because when you talk strategy, you got to tell people, hey, you can't do that no more. You keep doing that, 
That's a problem for us. We can't have that no more. And, you know, you can't tell niggas what to do. You cannot tell me you ain't the boss of me. I'm this and I'm that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. But if I can't talk to you and you in a fucking way and you're supposedly representing the people and I can't correct you when you're wrong, you're my enemy. And if we had a standard operating procedure, if we had a strategy, there would be an exact way I'm supposed to take care of you already lined out and agreed upon amongst our people. We would already know how to deal with those people who don't want to get online. You understand what I'm saying? But we don't have that. So how are we talking warfare? How are we so hard and, 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 and we ready to get it in? But we don't even we, we can't even have the conversations about what we're supposed to do to make sure we ain't fucking ourselves up. Yes, I'm angry about that because it's stupid. It's stupid. You look like a fool. You sound like a fool and you cannot be taken seriously on the world stage. Which is why people are disrespecting us. Let me check the comments for a second. Second L says she agree. We don't need a government. We need unity. Us walking thunder. You right. I'm angry because no one else is. Hey, David, you right with me, boy. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Let's keep it moving. All right. So my next point. When it comes to the standard operating procedure, right, and the strategy, right, there's a certain way. You're supposed to maneuver around people who have nothing to do with the fight that you're in. There's a certain way you're supposed to maneuver with people who could actually benefit you if you play it right. But us, because of the unrealistic approach, because of the false sense of superiority, because the lack of a standard operating procedure. Now we got people who actually understand our plight. Who actually say, yo, that's fucked up what they're doing. And if I could do something, I would. But they're not going to fuck. Hell no, we make it hard for anybody because we don't know how we're supposed to deal with people who are different from us, but who are not directly our enemy. We, 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 we ain't sharp as we say we is out here right now. And somebody got to somebody got to point this out so we can step it the fuck up straight up. Now, I completely understand everybody's not going to be on board. But if you're not, this line has to be drawn and then you step your ass on the side, on the other side of it. And everybody who with it, we're going to figure out how to deal with you. Guarantee we must deal with you. You out here, you in the way and you don't understand the shit you're doing is fucking us up. So we're going to have to deal with you. But enemies are the allies. Y'all mad at people who don't look exactly like you. So now you say, oh, all black people, this and it's all and it should only be people who look just like this. When them same people got the same enemy, you got got the same problems, you got under the same strain you under want to have the same revolution you want. But they know they can't do it with you because you are ignorant, motherfucker. You're not thinking you're not even united amongst your own community. So now you talk crazy to them. Any one of them. You talk crazy about other people who could help you. Now they don't want nothing to do with you. You know what? Now you on the other side of the line. Now you made enemies out of people who could be helping you. That's stupid. That's stupid. Hey, check this out. Like the video, man. Hit me with a share, man. Let these dumb niggas know we out here and we on they ass. The dumb shit you talking about? <laughs> that shit can't continue, G. That shit cannot continue. Pardon me, man. All right. So let's move on to the next point. I'm going to try not to take too long with this because I got a few. My next point now. So now we out here, we're talking wild crazy in the world. We disrespecting people who could be with us. We, we, we out this motherfucker just 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 uh, uh, gung ho <laughs> with with no gun. Right. Now, when someone with some substance come around and say, hey, man, this shit don't make no sense. Y'all doing, man. Oh, man, fuck that, man. We on it. Nobody want to hear that shit. Oh, so y'all love being dumb niggas. Y'all like to be dumb niggas. Right. And the fucked up part is we actually celebrate the ignorance. We love the retarded niggas. We love the niggas who wild out and we love the girls who are super ratchet and we love the ones who, you know, just just act like they have zero shame. They don't represent anybody. And it's OK for them to do that. And we actually we allow our kids to 
look up to these people like idols. You sit here, you sing all the words in the goddamn song. You want to dress like them. You want to talk like them. God damn it. We got niggas out this motherfucker right now doing a chicken dance. They over there shaking their fucking necks like chickens. Gee, how stupid is this? This is the dumb shit we got going on out here. How was you so cool with allowing your friends, your family members to remain in a state of ignorance, to be cool in front of stupid people? Why we celebrate ignorance? Why we allow ignorance to just flow through freely like that? So now, why niggas is out here super ignorant? And a nigga like me, like, yo, bro, you tripping. Niggas don't want to hear it, right? So you check a nigga when he wrong. Nigga won't try to violate. You want you want hold you. You really want to go there? Because I mean, I'm gonna have to do it to you. I'm gonna have to. I represent something bigger. So you're gonna make me do it to you. They will make you do it to them. So how are we supposed to interface with people in the world? You know, you can't even send your woman out, your kids out, because there's so many different varieties of ignorance out here. You can't put a filter on who comes around. So now when somebody violates you and you go to get justice, looking for justice, the system ain't gonna give it to you. The system is not going to give it to you. We know that. So now you're going over there trying to get it yourself. Nigga going to make you push it to the limit. Now you got to do what the fuck you got to do because you got to take care of your family, right? Look at the ignorance. This comes from a level of ignorance that's allowed. That's that is uh, that is processed continually through the family. We like this shit. We, 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 we man. That shit is a waste of time. We got people who are supposed to be with us. Why the fuck we can't find a way if we the conscious one? Why the fuck we can't find a way to link with them and come to some sort of agreement on how we're going to maneuver out here? No strategy. No operating procedure. If there was enough people who were talking about what to do, they will automatically get in line because they want to be a part of something that's going to actually move something. But since the conscious community don't got nothing to offer them, they out there getting it how they live. So we got to we got to merge these communities. We got to have some people in the middle to be the bridge for the gap right here. Now, this be the problem here. And this might touch a nerve or two here and there, but it's the truth. So now we're dealing with ignorant niggas, right? But then we get to the women. And this one is a little different because, you know. You can't really go around checking people women. You know what I mean? Women can pretty much say what they want, act how they want, be as ratchet and loud and emotional as they want. As soon as you say, listen, um, <laughs> why you acting like that? Don't act like that. Don't do that. That's, that's not, you know, I can't respect that. I don't respect nobody else to respect that. You're going to make me have to do something to somebody because you out here wilding. Oh, no, you can't tell me what to do. You're not paying my bills. My daddy don't tell me what to do. I'm growing. I'm independent. I'm this, that, and the third. Oh, can't correct you, but I'm supposed to go fight and die for you. Stop, lady. Stop, lady. You want me to go fight and die. You want men to put their lives on the line. But when a man tell you, hey, listen, um, why you dress so short? Why your titties hanging out? You know, you don't got to be half. Hey, listen, don't talk to niggas like that. In the street, OK, you can't say that. You can't do it. We can't correct them. You can't. correct. And then if you if you try to get into a intellectual conversation and explain how they're wrong. You must be gay. You hate women. Ah, uh, and all, you know, mama's issues and all, all, all. Lady, you full of shit. And I'm going to tell you, you full of shit. Sorry. And if you don't like it, you have to get the fuck away from me, my family, my friends, and the other people that think like me because the mind state you have is infectious. And can't nobody check you. So you're going to make some, somebody have to do something to you. You will bring drama to niggas unnecessarily. Cannot have that. Can't, so if I can't correct you, you're not a part of my community. You don't have my best interest or yours at heart. You're not even thinking about you. I can't check you, but I'm supposed to protect you? Man, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Who is the... I, I, heard, I saw a woman today say, oh, men do uh, 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 bow down to... I mean, women do submit to men, but you, you have to actually be a man. Oh, cool. Cool. Which brings me to my next point. So all the niggas that love y'all, all the niggas that worship y'all, right? Now, I love black women. I love all women. Matter of fact, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a guy. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not one of them niggas, man. I done been around the world a few times, man. I done seen a whole lot of shit. Women are dope as fuck. Period. 
but I'm not about to worship you because some of y'all ain't shit. I judge you based on your character. I don't give a fuck what your skin tone is. Your character will define how I handle you. But the black power niggas out here pump faking. These the niggas that's on their knees worshiping. That's calling you the goddess. Text you first thing in the morning. Peace, uh, uh, queen of the Nile. I want to, you know, drink your bath water, grand rises and all of this shit. And I'm like, yo, yo. All right. Look like y'all got y'all army then. Look like y'all got y'all army. Look, look, look like the niggas that want to be there for you and just be at your at your beckoning call. They out there, right? The black woman is God crew, right? They all out here. So then, um, I'm trying to understand, if them niggas out here, why y'all not protected? If these niggas that y'all, oh, the RBG kings and the black kings and black queens and black power and black love and, hey, that's all fine and good. I ain't got no problem with that. Bang how you want to bang. But, um, don't tell me you unprotected when it's a whole group of niggas sitting there worshiping you who too scared to tell you you're wrong. They not going to correct you. No, no, no. Them niggas not going to correct you. Them niggas pandering. I ain't going to call them simps. I just think they misguided and they going a little too far with the woman worship. But these niggas pump faking though. If you, if you love her so much, if she's the goddess, and if it's so real, if it's like that, you're supposed to be out here putting in work then. You're supposed to be out here putting in work, making a safe environment for them. You, they're not trying to make a safe environment for you niggas. So regular niggas can't correct you. The black power niggas is scared to correct you. They damn sure not protecting you. So then what the fuck do we do with you? What do we do with you? What do we do with them niggas who were supposed to be there for you? What do you do about them? Why are you addressing anybody other than the black power niggas? Y'all should not be addressing nobody else. Them the niggas at your feet ready to worship. Tell them niggas get their ass up off their fucking knees and go protect something. Another reason I'm mad. Fuck out of here. What is they doing? Ain't no respect in that, but y'all want to wear RBG and bang black power. And if it was some actual power behind it, somebody will respect it. The men will be standing the fuck up. It will be RBG flags everywhere. If, yo, something can't happen. Unless these niggas pull up in big numbers. When it's election, I guarantee you it's going to be a gang of them. You won't see that. You won't see that in real life, though. You won't see that when the shit get real. Stop playing with me. Bring me to my next point. So now, right, now that the black power niggas is tripping, and then nigga like me come and say, I pull up at the election. And I'm like, man, so what's the plan? Because um, shit crazy out here. We need answers. We need something. Something has to happen because y'all been talking for a long time. Oh, niggas want to tell you, oh, just arm yourself with knowledge, brother, you know, and connect to Africa and get your, get your knowledge. Ah, fuck all that. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. So now, now I'm mad. Now I'm fucking angry, right? Because I'm like, you niggas sat here and talked all this shit for so long. Y'all talked all this shit for so
I'm still in this bitch? Am I still in this bitch? Hold up, man. If I'm still here, hit me with a like, man. Am I still here? Don't look like it. Damn, Jake. Okay, look like I'm back. Still in this bitch? Alright. Am I still in this bitch? Alright. If I'm still here, my bad. Give me what I like, man. Am I still here? Don't look like it. Damn, dude. Alright. <laughs> Yo, man, my laptop died. I had to plug it in real quick. Shit, my shit was tripping me up. Uh, my bad. My bad. Alright, so. Let's see if I can pick back up. We are not allowed to express our emotion, okay? If you're angry and you want to talk about what's going on and tell people how you're feeling about the world and, and correct people here and point out flaws there and give suggestions here and do these different things, you can't, you, they're they not trying to hear that shit if, you, if you're angry because, you know, it bothers them. They're they, 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 they so emotional and they're so fucking sensitive. I'm talking about men and women. This is not just a woman thing right here. This is men and women. I got men coming on my face. They, oh, you know what? Well, well, you catch like more. That. You catch still more flies bitch. with honey and All shit. Right. What's still on this bitch? Oh. All right. If I'm still here. My Damn. Uh, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. All right. But yeah, man. So. So if you if you if you come off mad or if you're snapping on niggas and you got some conviction about you. Oh, they're angry. You got too much anger. And you can't focus. if you're Who the fuck told you that? Who told you they can't focus if they angry? Who the fuck told you anger don't get shit done or anger was bad for you or you supposed to be just calm and die? I know who told you that. I know who told you that. This comes from the women in the home. This start way back during, you know, slavery time when the men were, were, you know, they had the buck breaking going on. So if you tough and if you act tough, they disrespect you in front of your family. Mama say, yo, I don't want my son to go through that. So, hey, listen, son, relax. Be calm to the white man. Don't look him in his eyes. Don't say nothing crazy. Don't you try to rise up at him. Don't do none of that. You just be you and you get, go on, go along to get along. So now niggas is out this motherfucker extra. Yes, sir. No, sir. They wear their ties and they walk around right up, right. And you know what I'm saying? They trying to be their best stand up citizen. Huh? You want to be the best subject citizen you could be. Mama taught you that. But now a man come through and say, yo, man, what are you doing, man? You better say something. This shit wrong and you're supposed to say something. If something wrong, if you see something, you're supposed to say something. If you don't like it, you're supposed to get your ass up and do something about it. You fix it as a man. You, 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 you I mean, come on. What got us in the position where we feel like being honest about how we feel is improper to express to people. Why can't we be honest about how the fuck we feel? You Now, women on one hand could be super emotional as they want to be. They get a whole week out the month to be super emotional. And then the fucking moon shit come through with. The, <laughs> don't get me started on that. Retrograde come through. Don't let retrograde come through. Shit, man. Look, now you don't lost your fucking woman. She out this bitch tripping and shit. Huh? But let a man get to acting a fool because he don't like what's going on in the world. Oh, you sensitive. Why are you acting all sensitive? Quit acting like a bitch. Quit acting. Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad? Do you not see what's going on in the fucking world? I have good reason to be mad. But but now I'm mad because you don't want me to be mad. What the fuck is up with that? You want somebody to go and fight and die for you and not be mad? You want somebody to put their life on the line and not have emotions to go along with the conversation? You want niggas to just be. Uh, you want a Steve Urkel type nigga. 
with a Rambo mentality, right? Man, what you thinking? That shit ain't even logical. That shit ain't even logical. So now y'all done put men to the, y'all done played men to the point where now we can't even talk about what we really want to talk about because we don't want to get called emotional. We don't want to have our message be turned into something different because you want to have a closed mind or just try to turn it around because you want to ignore the facts and just hit it. Well, you emotional and fuck out of here. OK, if we too emotional, then don't ask niggas to go do nothing for you. Niggas can't niggas can't help you. You need to talk to the black power niggas. You need to talk to the RBG niggas. You need to talk to the black women's God niggas. Them niggas right there. Them niggas going to act and do just how you want them to do. Supposedly. I mean, that's what they say. That's what they should do. If you're claiming that your woman is God, you're supposed to do whatever the fuck she say and protect her with your life. So deal with them niggas. Because cause them niggas ain't emotional when they screaming, black flow and kill the crack and all this shit. Oh, that, 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 that. that emotion is good. That emotion is good. When they're screaming about fighting a fight, they're never going to fucking fight. That emotion is good. But when a nigga say, hey, yo, you need to check your, you need to check your son. You need to check your woman. You need to check your family. You need to check you. Oh, you're too emotional. Don't tell me I'm wrong. Now, if you want to get on the stage and scream how everybody else is wrong, I'm with you. And I love the emotion. I love the fire and the passion and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like that shit. But when it's directed at you, when you're being corrected, when somebody got an emotional conversation for you, you don't want nothing to do with it. Now, you're too emotional. Get out of my face. You full of shit. Another reason I'm mad. You motherfucking right. How you could be so emotional, but a man can't. Y'all don't give a fuck about niggas feelings, but we're supposed to be completely in tune with yours. Make that make sense. How the fuck am, are men not supposed to tap into their emotions, not supposed to express their emotions, right? But we're supposed to be 100% in tune with yours. Make that make sense. Because if I can't explore mine, how the fuck am I going to know how to handle you and yours? Make that make sense. Stop that. Which brings me to my next point. Man, look. Most of the people, I'm not going to say most of the people, but there's a, a, a big group of people out here, right, who's saying they're conscious, and I'm not here to tell nobody that they're not, okay? If you're conscious, cool, you're conscious. Whatever, man. Big up to you. But, um, in these conversations about what needs to be done in the planning, there ain't but so much I expect out of a religious person. I mean, unfortunately, you know, we just got to be honest here, man. Y'all actually supposed to have a plug. Y'all supposed to have a guy who's going to come through and make it all better. So when we try to talk about strategy and actually doing something, oh, well, the Hebrews will kill you. Oh, my God. These niggas so deep. Y'all too deep. To be sitting here doing nothing but screaming at black people on the street. You're too deep. You niggas going to sit here and tell me you really think 200,000 angels on horses is about to crack the fucking sky. I can't even talk logically with you. How we talking strategy? You're not even thinking logically. And then some of these niggas think we're supposed to be going through this. We're not supposed to go and try to fight. The Lord's going to handle the battle and all of that. All right. But why is you even, even in these conversations? Why are y'all even in these conversations, man? I mean, unless you're on the fence, you're trying to find your way out, then cool, pay attention. But um, don't you get to talking that he'll make a way and he's going to fix it and he's going to handle this shit. No, the fuck he not. And you know, if he is, we're going to be doing the work until he get here. When he pull up, he can go ahead and help us make the final push. But the conscious religious people just throw me all the way off because you in here talking black power shit, pan-African shit aboriginal shit and all of this and we need to you know do this and do that and do the third man you and your book ain't gonna allow you to go but so far man you still think somebody come man, man that that that's just that's a freebie what are y'all doing i'm confused please some, I, I i don't even know what to do with that like i don't even know how you even part of the conversation i really don't you it's cool though maybe you need to get your, get your church crew who think like you a little further away from church but not all the way in our group and y'all do y'all thing in the middle and help merge the two groups do that then. Do that. But y'all halfway in and halfway out, man. And then talking to religious shit while you went, man. No, 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 no. I get out of here with that. That shit is a waste of time. You confusing people. You confusing people. Then the old people, right? The OGs hate us. The OGs hate us because we talk shit about them and their era. We, oh, no, no, no. Not even about them and their era. 
But we just got this anger and we don't want to hear nothing from them. They pop up in the conversation trying to tell niggas how to act and we don't want to hear nothing from an old nigga from back in the day who had his time and didn't do nothing then. We don't want to hear nothing from an old nigga. OG, you, you had your chance. You had your chance. You failed. Not mad at you, but you're not about to come over here and tell niggas what to do now. We can't take no advice from you. What is it that you doing, that you've done, that makes any young boy, young man, any young queen, young warrior woman want to say, yeah, man, I'm going to follow his path. I'm going to do what the old people did. Man, y'all niggas ain't doing nothing either. Y'all on your way to the nursing home, man. Real rap. Got no time for that. Got no time for that. They have no substance to add to the conversation. They have no financial backing to add to the conversation. They have no way of protecting anybody. Niggas don't even want to babysit your goddamn kids. I ain't asking nobody to babysit mine anyway, but the fact of the matter is these motherfuckers don't have nothing to offer nobody in no way other than well, you young niggas, y'all need to stop doing this and you need to do this. And you need to, man, fuck you. You can't tell nobody what to do. You sit that fucking bottle and you sit right there and do your fucking thing. Mind your goddamn business out here. Okay? It's a whole new class of men that came up and they don't give a damn what y'all think about us. That's the thing. That's why this is happening now. Because it's got to be put on notice. I don't give a fuck what y'all think. You in the same position I'm in. We fucked up out here. But you want to pass judgment. As if you were in a good position. As if you're in a position to change anybody's life around you. Man, fuck out my face. Stop playing. Not to mention, these people be in our family. And you don't want to piss off grandma and grandpa and uncle Robbie and auntie Jean and all of these people. So, you know. You're not going to leave them alone, even though they full of shit. You got to do what you got to do to make them, you know, satisfied with you. You got to fake it while you around them. And then you. Good question. So what's your plan? In a nutshell, it's like this. All right. Tribalism is the way. This is the only way to deal with this. This is the only way to deal with this. When you find yourself amongst a group of people, a mixed crowd, and you can't figure out who your enemies are, and who your friends are, you got to take your time. And you got to get close to people and find out who the fuck they are. You got to get out here and mingle with people. This is the problem. Y'all so scared of people, y'all don't want to get around people and find out what the fuck is going on. You just want to say, yo, listen, everybody black is cool, and everybody not is not, and then that's it. And then there's no strategy as far as you know organizing those people. Tribalism. You got to get out here and talk to people and find out who thinks like you. Once you find out who thinks like you, then find out how serious they are about making a change in the environment. You have to move closer. We have to. We have to have neighborhoods that we all live in, that we all work to maintain, that we all work to. It's the word I'm looking for. Separate ourselves in. To a degree, we still go interface with the world, obviously, but we can help one another in our daily lives. We can protect uh, 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 two, three block radius a lot better than we can protect the whole fucking United States. Ain't no way I'm about to fly out to the West Coast because somebody got bodied over there when it's a thousand million niggas over there on the West Coast that could be doing that. While them niggas who think like the person who just died ain't out banging for the person who just died. No, you can't. It's not logical because the distance between us. This is so simple. We must close the gaps between our communities, our families, and the people who think like us. That's the plan. Buy land. Grab the people who, yo, 5, 10, 20 families over the course of a year. Tax time come around. Everybody got their lump sum of money. Boom, we buy that land over there. And we moving over there. All of us. Bring your kids. Bring your husband. Bring your wife. Bring your family. We going over there. And this is going to be our little hub. And we're going to take care of us. We make a new family. You make a try. Hmm? All skin folks, not your kin folks. Hey, man, LeVette already know what's up, man. Just because you black, you don't get a pass. You got to cut a lot of you niggas off. Until you get on code. If you get on code, then come through. We want you around. But you ain't. You don't just get a pass because you black. Stop that. We're going to get to that point in a second. Though. Let's move on to the next one, all right? Another reason I'm mad. School, work, church. Daycare, hospitals, it's awesome bullshit, and you fucking know it. You send your kids to that school, them teachers in there is overworked and underpaid. They don't want to fucking be there. Your kid getting a half-ass uh, education. Not to mention, 
It's a cookie cutter education. The learning style is a cookie. Everybody has to take the same exact test, learn the same exact way at the same exact time as if we're all robots and we're programmed to think the same way. You put your kids through that shit, they stressed out. Then they up around other motherfuckers, people that you would not normally kick it with. Now you got their kids and your kids in the same room. Motherfuckers is, uh, don't got the right cultural value. So your kid trying to be good. And this motherfucking kid over here from the trap house, he don't give a fuck. Aggravating the stress. School is some bullshit. Raise your kids at home. We all know it's full of lies in it anyway. Most of the history that we were taught was lies. Most of the science that we were taught is lies. We, we know this. Same thing with church. Same thing with church. You know, put all your money in there, billions and billions and billions of dollars. They 501c3 anyway. They're a government uh, entity. They can't, they, can't, they can't even speak out against the government or help you in any, any type of uh, 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 political stance. They can't take a political stance in anything in the community. So church can't help you. You're just sitting there waiting on the man in the sky to come through. Good luck with that. Work is some bullshit. What the fuck you doing working to pay for free shit? We're paying for water that come out the fucking sky. We're paying for food that grow out the fucking ground. You pay for medicine that is being made from plants that grow out the fucking ground. What is we paying for free shit for? You work to pay for a house you could build your fucking self. This shit is stupid. Daycare. You see the fucking daycare people kicking kicking the babies around, slamming them, beating them. Innocent little babies. One, two, three-year-old kids. They fucking them up in the daycare. You got to send your kids there so you can go to work to pay for free shit. That shit is stupid. Hospitals. They killing everybody. Who the fuck is the hospital saving? Who is the hospital saving? You go there to die. You go there to fucking die. Pit. Or get you some medicine that's going to slowly kill you. So what the, this shit is some bullshit. This shit is some bullshit. We have to find a way to put these, these uh, institutions under our control. The school need to be taught by us. If you want to get your worship on and get your spirituality on, it should be us. If you want to work, it should be our businesses that we are, em we are employing people in. Our family should be working. Our family and the young girl should be taking care of the kids. We should be, we should, we should all be getting healed by our women. I mean, shit, as a man, you should know, you know, how to heal your fucking self anyway. But tighten up, man. So now, now when we get to talking about, hey, uh, Sectet L said, what's your, what's your strategy or what's the plan, right? This be the shit that niggas don't want to do, right? Niggas act like they scared to talk online about what you actually want to do. Oh, they watching, they listening. Um, I can't say it online because, you know, I would never say it online. I'm like, listen, listen. Listen, and I need y'all to really hear me here, okay? I really need you to hear me here. There is nowhere you're going to have a conversation and you're 100% secluded. If they want to hear what you have to say, they can do that very easily. So I don't know why y'all think y'all got these conversations that are so uh, 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 top secret, right? If your plan's so dope, right? You, you, you know, you, but you can't say it online because, you know, somebody might catch one and they're going to lock you up. Well, then you know what? Then we paralyzed. We paralyzed because we live in a world where everybody's communicating on the Internet. And if you scared to say what really need to be said, then it's never going to get said because you ain't, you ain't making enough waves in the community. Everybody on the phone or plugged into some sort of Internet. So any anytime you're talking to somebody, you run the risk of being heard. So if you're scared to be heard, if you're scared to say, yo, man, we really need to go and put in this work. Then you gave up and you admit it right there. We lost. Oh, I can't talk about it because, you know, uh, they listening and they watch it. So so you're basically saying we're too far behind to even have a chance to do something. So where even if we talk about it, a motherfucker could come and run down on us. Right. Is it not worth it, though? Is it not worth it? I mean. You think Harriet Tubman ain't think about that? Like, what if they catch me? <laughs> you think she ain't think about that? Nat Turner. You think you don't think he thought about that? All these different revolutionaries that had to say, man, look, man, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. You think they ain't thought to themselves. But what if somebody find out? But you got to push through that, though. But now Big Brother got niggas to the point where we can't even as men, as women, as warriors come to the table and talk about how we plan on just organizing ourselves. We don't even want to talk about how we're going to organize. Oh, I got a strategy, but it ain't for the Internet. Well, what the fuck is it for? What is it for? Where is you moving the strategy through? What, what people are you passing this info to 
on such a secret level that one day it's just going to blow up and everybody's going to be saying, who is he? Where is this? At? If you got that going on, I'm with you, but I highly doubt it. I highly fucking doubt it. OK, you know what I think when people say, oh, I got a strategy, but it ain't for the Internet. You know what I think? You don't got no fucking strategy. You don't got no strategy. You know, you. I think this is just a, a, a fail safe. So you don't have to answer the questions or you don't got to stand up. Or you don't have to actually provide some substance to the conversation that's already happening. Hmm. So you say, oh, no, no, no. What, what I would do, I can't even say on the Internet. Now get your ass out of here. You pump fake it. You pump fake it and you scary because it ain't nowhere to hide out here. It ain't nowhere to fucking hide out here. Quit playing. Quit playing. You're not really with that shit, man. You're not really with that shit. If you're scared to talk online about what needs to be said, you're playing. There ain't nowhere to hide. You're not being realistic out here. You're not being fucking realistic. Let's bring you to the next point. This Africa shit, bro. Listen, man. Listen, man. If you're from Africa, I don't mean no disrespect to you or Africa or whatever. Or if you own some black power kinds of shit. Hey, listen, man, that's cool. That's cool. But uh, uh you niggas got the cart before the horse on this. Because everybody talking about Africa. Africa. You know, we from Africa. And we need to reunite back with the motherland and the mother country and all of this shit. And that sounds good in theory. It sounds good. But um, when you go to Africa, you know they fucked up over there too, right? You know that the problems you have right here in America... They're either going to get worse or become different over there. You're not able to help people right here where you live at. OK. You can't even help the people right here. What the fuck y'all expect us to make this big ass exodus and go to Africa with nothing in hand to help the people there? We can't help here. So we're going to go over there and be a burden. We're going to go over there and free low, Huh? Oh, hey, can, can, can we get a little piece of land right here to grow us some food? This type of shit. This is what the fuck we supposed to do? That shit is a distraction. If you feel that hard about it, if you that hard up on going to Africa, being African and connecting to the motherland, flights are leaving every day. Every day flights are leaving. I don't understand what's the problem. Slavery happening right now in Libya. Why is niggas not sliding over there to go put in some work? Levesque said the laws of political party is not designed to accommodate us outside of keeping us under the thumb of racism, white supremacy. We are still three fifths of a people in the Constitution. The political parties are another illusion of inclusion, in my opinion. You are 100 percent correct. This is why they killed Gaddafi. Well, I'm not going to say this is why, but this is one of the reasons. This is, matter of fact, I'm going to say Gaddafi pointed this out in the Green Book, how this whole democracy we think we got is some bullshit. You really think. You have a choice here. You really think you picked your leader. You, this is what you really think. Motherfuckers don't. Motherfuckers really don't understand. They're not paying attention, man. They're not paying attention. So now check this out. We're not going to Africa, right? All the niggas that want to go to Africa, hey, flights is leaving. Y'all go ahead and go. The rest of us, we're going to stay here. So now, now that we're here and we're looking around, what do we do? We're talking about this warfare. Where the soldiers at? Um, They standing on a fucking corner in your neighborhood. They on the corner. Yo, dumbass, too stupid to pay them. Niggas out there hustling for money, putting in work for money. Well, go catch a body for some bread. Huh? Go catch a body with no problem. But we, <laughs> we took them out. <laughs> we, where the warriors at? You scared to go outside? <laughs> they outside, man. They outside and they are for hire. This is this this just blows me right here because we know the gangs was originally created to protect the neighborhood. But now we so fucking retarded. They out there and niggas can't find a way to employ them niggas. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's just dumb. Yes, I'm angry about this shit. That's just fucking dumb. OK, how how they right there? How they right there? Hmm. So now I'm going to wrap up on this, man. I'm going to wrap up on this. I'm mad. And I'm mad that you're not mad. But you tell me I shouldn't be mad. Boy, for everybody 
<laughs> Everybody that tell me I'm too angry. You're not angry enough. I'm not mad at you, though, because I know you don't know enough. Because if you knew what I know, you would be mad, too. How are you so comfortable? How are you so comfortable? You got family that has to inherit this world we live in, it, inherit this fucked up social status that we in. We got family that has to inherit this shit. OK, but um, we don't we don't we don't want we don't want to go and make sure that they're going to be safe when we leave. We don't want to take our life and say, you know what, while I'm here, I'm going to fucking do something about it. Then. I'm just not going to sit here and, you know, act like I don't see. I'm going to do something. No, no, we don't do that. We don't do that. We sit here. I'm going to live. I'm going to live my life. I'm living my life. Like, oh, that shit. No, the fuck you not. No, the fuck you not. You need to tighten up. You need to think. You need to wake the fuck up. Man, it's a whole lot out here to be angry about. It's a whole lot to be angry about. If you know what's going on, if you're paying attention, if you're thinking, if you're a thinker, huh? if you're a strategist, if you're looking at what's happening and you can see the strategy being employed on us. Yes, you will be fucking that because you can see it. I fucking see it. So, <laughs> man, this shit's some bullshit. OK. I'm going to get up out of here, man. Just understand, people. With the way shit is going for men right now, for men specifically, all right, with the way shit is going for men, we're not going to be able to say shit in a little while because they got it to the point where niggas are scared to be themselves. And, you know, I had my time where I didn't really want to have infl inflammatory conversations because I didn't want people to feel a way or think I'm just some bad guy or I, I, I hate people or some shit like that. No, I'm just super realistic. Understand. <laughs> I'm a super realistic ass nigga. You're not finna sit here and bullshit me in no type of way. All right? No way. So, unfortunately, yeah, I'm gonna say some shit. And I and I suggest men, whoever listen, say what the fuck you wanna say. Stop that. Uh stop worrying about if they're gonna be mad at you, if they're gonna hate you, if they're gonna call you names and all that shit. Fuck them. Ain't no man or woman. Putting in no work for no black people nowhere. I'm going to say that again. No man or woman is putting in no work, going catching no bodies, going and enacting any vengeance on anybody in the name of, of uh, black people. It's not happening. It's not happening. So you can't judge me. You can't judge me. You, you pay a bill around this motherfucker. You can have some input. Until then. Manja, if you don't like what's being said, go that way. All these conversations are optional. All these conversations are optional. But if the type of conversation you like, we have deeper conversations in this, in a little group that we got going on. All right. We talk, you know, we 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 build on the info, but we kind of moved on because we pretty much figured out where we at and we know what we need to do, which is why we on the tribalism now. So now we on the economics talk and trying to make this plan and figure out which direction and which landing spot we're gonna jump in. Because there's nothing else to do other than tell people these niggas tripping. They are not going to protect you. And there's a few of us, a few of us out here who actually want to. But we are logical enough to know you can't protect everybody and I can't protect you from a distance. You got to come close. So. What's the plan? Come closer. If this conversation interests you, come closer. If you want to learn more. Come closer. If you want to be protected, come closer. If you want your kids to have a stable family around them, huh? Blood makes you related. Loyalty makes you family. A stable family. We create our family by sharing a common culture. If you want these things around you, come closer. We're really trying to put in this way. We're really trying to find a supply of land. Actually, not trying to. We are really finding a supply of land and we are really on the fucking way there. But we need more people. So, yeah, I'm out here banging this shit hard so people know um, it's people.